of course, was history created yet again by Team Istro. A successful launch of uh, the Expo Sat over there. You can see, of course, the team. They're congratulating each other. Shortly, we'll be hearing from the chairman of Istro as well as Somnath telling us about uh, this uh, mission, which stage it is at. There are many more stages, of course, that it will be covering in the course of this uh, mission. But already, of course, congratulations pouring in for Istro on the first day of uh, the new year. A successful launch. So happy new year to all of you. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of PSLV has been accomplished. PSLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite ExpoSat in the desired orbit of 650 kilometer, 6 degree inclination. And we'll be waiting for the exact uh, orbital parameters that will just now come. And we are also waiting for the satellite uh, to have its solar panel deployed. That also will come in a few seconds from now. From uh, this point, the orbit of the PSLV-4 stage will be reduced to a lower orbit, where the upper stage of the PSLV, which is now described as POEM, PSLV Orbital Experimental Module, will carry out experiments with the nine of the onboard payloads. And that will take some time. And we will come back to listen to the, all of that, what happened in the POEM experiments little later. Meantime, let me also announce the uh, the orbit that has been accomplished, which is uh, available through various uh, routes. It shows excellent orbit, and the deviations uh, from the uh, the targeted orbit is hardly just three kilometers in circular orbit of 650 kilometer, and inclination is uh, 001 degree, which is one of the one of the very excellent orbital condition. And yet another announcement is the solar panel of the satellite also has been deployed successfully. So with this, uh, the new year has begun uh, with the launch of PSLV. We have an exciting time ahead. Much before telling all of that, let me invite the mission director to have its words. Uh, Mr. Jayakuma is the mission director. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm extremely happy to stand here to celebrate the grand success of the 60th launch of uh, PSLV. As you all know, uh, ExpoSight is a space observatory, but what uh, makes this mission more interesting is the uh, host of new technologies that are getting demonstrated in the POEM3 experiment. We have uh, fuel cell, we have the silicon-based uh, 10 ampere hour high energy battery, green monopropellant thrusters, amateur radio satellite service, and uh, more important, a totally uh, women-engineered uh, satellite uh, for the comparison of uh, solar irradiance and uh, UV index. This, I think, uh, showcases uh, women empowerment in the field of science and technology. And all the payloads, in fact, demonstrate the reforms that are currently sweeping the sp Indian space sector. But today's success has been made possible by the tremendous efforts uh, put in by a whole group of people from uh, Team ISRO, along with uh, other stakeholders. The, this mission would not have been possible, but for the wholehearted effort put in by various teams, the SDAs and SR agencies spread across different centers, starting from SDSC, URC, STRAC, LPSC, IPR, RC, VSSC, IISU, LEOS, and also ISRO headquarters. I would also like to thank uh, InSpace for acting as a nodal agency in identifying the payloads for POEM3 and all the NGEs for delivering the various payloads adhering to our schedule. Let me also thank our industry partners for delivering quality products for the realization of the launch vehicle. Let me take this opportunity to thank uh, Chairman ISRO uh, for the mentoring and the guidance provided and all center directors. Specifically, I would like to thank uh, Chairman and uh, uh, members of uh, MRR, uh, FRR, LV and ORC, Padmumar sir, uh, Ashok sir and uh, Shuja sir. They have taken extensive reviews and all the DRTs for clearing the various systems. Also the admin and the auxiliary services who have supported. I would also like to thank my own project team, especially Vehicle Director Damodaran, Associate Vehicle Director uh, Joyce Jules, uh, all the DPDs, the other team members, and the Project Management Office who has been effectively managing the campaign activities. Finally, I thank our family members for the support they provided to make our missions uh, successful. Wishing all of you a happy and a successful new year. Good day. Jai Hind. Now the Satellite Director. Good morning, all. As chairman sir uh, announced, I'm happy to announce that uh, satellite is placed in Inkangag orbit flawlessly. 
and satellite health is normal. Solar panels are deployed and battery charging uh, uh, already started. And uh, this is the unique mission, Exposet. It is a unique mission and this is first mission uh, worldwide to have a study of uh, uh, polarized X-ray sources and the second mission for polarization. So first time we will be, uh, this mission will give the polarization aspects of high energy cosmic sources and in medium energy bank. And uh, this will study a magnetic field distribution in uh, cosmic sources and uh, how uh, a magnetic field means originating and uh, like uh, alignment of uh, these cosmic sources like black holes and uh, uh, this pulsar wind uh, and sources and uh, all these cosmic sources. So it is, will be the extreme and, uh, experiment uh, by, for our scientific community. Once this mission is commissioned, it will be very fruitful for scientific community worldwide. And I take this opportunity to thank uh, Chairman Isro, uh, Central Director URSC, all Central Directors for making this mission possible by their support and guidance. And uh, special thanks to my former project directors, Sri Amreshwar Kennet, Sri K. Suresh, and Sri, uh, Dr. Palani Murugan for leading this mission in different uh, stages uh, of realization. And uh, special thanks to my project team, project executive across the center, and payload team from Raman Research Institute and the Space Astronomy Group of URSC for their relentless effort for making this uh, uh, mission possible and realizing uh, on time. And uh, my special thanks to entire uh, review committee for their guidance and support throughout the mission. And uh, special thanks to industry partners and uh, URC team for their invaluable contributions for these missions. Now we are waiting for successful commissioning of these missions. And I'm really privileged and honored to be part of this mission. I thanks, thanks everyone, and I wish happy and pro prosperous New Year's to all of you. Thank you. Uh, I'll now request the key centre directors who have contributed uh, immensely for the successful mission of this PSLV Exposed admission. So first let me invite the director of the VSSC. Very good morning and a happy New Year. 2023 was the 60th year of first sounding rocket that we launched from Tumba. So 60 years of rocketry and uh, PSLV is turning 60. And what a great takeoff on this New Year Day with the successful launch of PSLV C-58 Exposat mission. So apart from the main satellite, all the project director has mentioned about the other payloads. There are some important payloads like fuel cell, which we will be demonstrating in the POEM phase, that is the subsequent phase when PS4 is used as a platform. And that POEM fuel cell will have potential application in our future missions like space station. So I wish Happy New Year as well as can I congratulate the entire ISRO launch vehicle centers, especially Vikram Sarafai Space Center and all other launch vehicle centers and wish all the very best to the satellite team and all the payloads in POEM in the subsequent operation. Thank you. So that is, of course, what Team ISRO is saying about that very successful mission that was launched just a few moments ago. You heard from the chairman S. Somnath as well. A successful launch of the Expo Sat into orbit. A bright New Year morning made even brighter by this liftoff from the Sri Harikota Space Center, the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. An early morning for the scientists at ISRO, but a successful launch over there, which they're briefing the media about right now. Of course, there'll be many more stages to this uh, Expo Sat launch, but you can hear that it has successfully launched itself into the orbit as intended. ISRO, they're welcoming the new year with this uh, successful mission after a very, very successful 2023 as well with the Chandrayaan-3 mission and the launch of Aditya L1 as well. This is what ISRO has to say about this uh, mission, the ExpoSat mission, which is another historic space launch 
which is also the world's second polarimetry mission.